Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you're just joining us for the first time, I suggest you back up and watch some of the other 800 videos we have. Because <laughs> I post almost daily. So, yeah. This is the brand new 372 X Torque I'm building. Uh, fella wanted it, so he bought it. We worked out a deal, and he got it. Yesterday, I done the port work and stuff on it. Uh, and I was going to put it together yesterday, but it just didn't happen to work out that way where I could get it put together. Uh, ported it, deck cylinder and all that stuff. I've uh, reassembled most of the cylinder. I put the caps and all back on it and everything, so I'd be ready to go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sealer on it. The gasket still stuck to the to the cases, but I'm a sealer person. I like sealer, 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 whatever you want to call it. I like the room temperature of vulcanizing cream, RTV, this ultra gray permatex, good stuff. Permatex, if you're watching, we're still looking for a sponsorship from you. I've been using your product my whole life, and I tell everybody they should use it too. And not just because I'm looking for a sponsorship, but I believe this stuff. I believe in this stuff. I've been using it for a long time. I used it most of my professional career, except for companies that didn't use it. The the black, and the ultra gray is not. It's not been around as long as some of the other ones. I don't think, but. It's good stuff. So, we just put a thin, you can't even see it. It's a thin, we're gonna shoot just a little bit of oil up in the cylinder. Smears it around on the, on the inside, just like so. Then we're gonna put the cylindre on here. Get up in there. Come on, Cylindre. There's one ring. Well, come on. Come on. One ring. Come on now. Can't get to cooperate. Sometimes this other ring is a real pain. There we go. There we go. Yes, I do have a ring squeezer. And yes, sometimes I do use it. This was not one of the times. Try to make sure you get everything out of the way as you go. And then when you get here, make sure you put your throttle cable back in the throttle cable holder before you get everything set down and you'll be a lot happier if you do. We're gonna roll this far, and tuck it up in there, the little rubber hickey that holds the, the back of the the air horn. Get that set over there. Get her squished down. Well, let me raise it back up just a hair. Come on. There we go. I didn't have the intake quite set exactly where it needed to be, so I lubricated it just a little bit. I gotta push this down in there. There's a little pin down in there that locks on. Like so. Open the throttle, hook it up. There you have it. Now if I can find anything from yesterday. Oh, there it is. 
going to drop these bolts down in here. for the trees but I got it line back up, hook the fuel line back up. Get on that fuel line. That fuel line really might you to push. That would be good. I got grease on the on the choke lever. I did not know they actually grease these things from the factory. But apparently they do. Now I know. We got one in there. That all works. I'm gonna put the little little rubber hickey back on the the decomposition button. Put the little rubber hickey back in the top of the cylinder. There we go. Something or another, there's a spark plug. Mr. Sparky plug back in there. They didn't even have the seal ring squished on that spark plug. But she's on there now. Alright. So we put the drum back on here. Retaining washer and sprocket retaining circle clip. Now, do this without it going. Doing. Now the clutch is back on. That way we don't accidentally crank it without the clutch on. Because that makes a big mess. All right. Now, let me go get the muffler. All right, I popped a big old hole in the muffler. I got a pipe. I just gotta throw some stuff on here and get her silver soldered in there. Take my silver solder flux. I had to fix my spray bottle. For those that don't know, in my last video that I filmed doing this, my spray bottle started acting up. And it was jamming up. So I, it's one of them that's actually, you can still work on it. So I took it apart and cut the, the uh, uh, oh, come on, brain. I cut the, uh, the plunger down a little bit and put some grease on it and that seemed to loosen her back up there pretty well so 
we're gonna see if we can get this soldered right quick. I gotta turn the gas on on the torch. Uh. There we go. We don't need tons and tons of heat on this one. Chase it on around there. If you've never silver soldered anything before, if you can lay a little bit on there, you can chase it around. You can actually see it. You can actually watch it wet in. Looks good right there. And we're going to hit it with the water immediately. And it helps break that crust up off of there. That's the trick with the silver solder to get that crust off there. Is you got to get it. You got to hit it with the water. As soon as you take the heat off of it, you give it much time to solidify and it will harden. Now we'll go clean it up, put it on there, and we're almost ready to fire it up. All right. Big one. Big one. Gasket. This is the order it goes on, so just remember that. Gasket and the aluminum shroud. I see so many people not sure which one goes where. Come on, boat. And they ask me, I'm like, well, which one goes where? Well, how do you know? The aluminum spacer goes against the cylinder to help draw heat out of the front of the cylinder. That's what it's for. So if you put the gasket against it, you isolate the, the, the aluminum deflector. You isolate it from the cylinder. And you don't want to do that. You want it to be in contact with the cylinder. That way it can mechanically or thermally draw the heat out or however you want to say it. Come on now. There we go. I didn't want to start in there for some reason, but I got it. Yeah, buddy. I'm far away now. We're going to run these two little ones in some first, not tighten them up, but just run them in. And the reason you do that is if the if this pulls up on it, puts tension against them screws, and you're running them all the way in, it will mess the threads up. So, put them in, tighten them up. That way you only got a thread or two that's going in there so it don't mess anything up. All right, now there's the muffler on it. <clears throat> muffler tater has been installed all right let me get the rest of the parts all right 
chain break flag on there. Don't forget to put the little but a uh, little steel bushing back up in there. sure that's back in place everything looks good make sure your dogs go in because that ain't nothing worse than getting it all put together and try to crank it and you can't pull a rope on 372 and I don't have to do a bunch of parts every time I turn around because they're all here and all new. Actually, a little latch right there that holds on to the to the coil wire when they're not wore out. So in the, the bushing or the, the spring down the other four should be the same size an empty box except for a couple pieces that's in there from other stuff there's a little frame hanger and a, a bearing in there that's been in there for a while I'll just leave it in there because I don't know when I'm gonna need it but eventually I will here we're gonna go pour some fresh go-go juice in there Fresh go go juice in a clean, dry, empty tank. Screw the cap on. We need our adjusting screwing iron, which I think is that one. Yep, it's that one. All right. Let's go see if she'll fire up. All right. Put my screwdriver down over here. Throw the choke on. Decomp. Switch.
Hopefully, the next video will be some cut. Uh, so, y'all just hope you enjoy this. Look out for the cutting video. It'll probably be next because I've got a bunch of saws I got to try out. So, y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bellhopper out.